I was, I was going to make theirs $5. <laughs> yeah, you tried to. We tried, we tried. Billy, before we get started, you have to do like an Elvis move for us. Like, hey, baby. Oh, thank you. Well, oh, thank you very much. much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just give us a little bit of that before we get started. All right. As long as, the ha- as long as the hair stays strong down in the studio. I hear yeah. in the studio. What was the cartoon <laughs> with the big buff white dude who had the uh, Johnny, Johnny Bravo? Johnny, Johnny Bravo. Bravo. There you go. Yeah. Johnny Bravo. All right, good. All right, we're good down here. Three minutes to go, and we're going. Billy made me come here at like uh, 11 this morning. I'm you're so worried. I'm sure. He was just like, just get here really early on. Like, you know, you know, uh, 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 yeah. yeah, it's like, exactly. It's all stressed out it's, already. It's, 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 it's the white yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> I didn't know. Even this way when Pink was doing this shit. Oh, exactly. <laughs> for us. Yeah, exactly. When Pink's here. Oh, 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 okay, oh. baby. You know, they put this shit on hold. They delayed this shit so Pink could show up. But yeah. no, us. Yeah. <laughs> they We're make us. Have to spend the night here and help fucking wash the dishes. Thank you. We got here last night for this shit, yeah. you know? <laughs> fucking hell. Uh... Fucking hanging alone outside fucking doing the lawn. Mm-hmm. Shit. And I, you know, I get a lot. I get a lot of bamboo leaves that drop in the backyard. You know, if you guys want to exactly. hang out for a little bit. <laughs> you know, had me call my weed man. I was like, well, I gotta call the weed man. You like cocaine? Okay? Exactly. Oh, God. That's very good. I'm expensive too, bro. If you yeah. want me to do landscaping, yeah, you, know. Body, you know what I mean? <laughs> for sure. I could be your personal chef and your fucking landscaper. Come on, go on this. All right, oh, we're getting God. close. We are getting close. Jennifer is sitting over there like, oh my God, why Whoa. did we get the black? Jennifer's like, yeah, this yeah. was Jennifer's oh, like this. Oh God, we are so off brand with these two. No, no stop. No, 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 no. no. Please. Please. Wait till I hit him with the, I, I walk out there means testicle and, and that's like, <laughs> wait till I hit him with that one. They're gonna be like, no, thank you. Oh God. Oh my God. That's what it does, yeah. <laughs> testicle. You guys look good. We know that. We don't have to tell us this the obvious thing. This is the longest thing. five minutes ever. Fucking hell, bro. Right? Come on. All right, no shit. This is like the five minutes before the fucking judge comes back with my verdict. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Um, we all know we're innocent. Yeah. That motherfucking judge is like, ah! Exactly. Ah! <laughs> no, when they, t- when they tell you shit like this, they're like, yeah. Ah, about your future, there is none. What? Yeah, it's all. Yeah. I have an airline ticket and video footage of me in another state when this happened. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's dinner. It's dinner and a show, everybody. It is dinner and a show. All right. Are we time? Four fifty-nine. We got a minute. Right, we can start now. Yeah, uh, yeah. There's nothing but white people on here. You know they've been signed on since four thirty. <laughs> So we can just get started right now. Oh my god! It's live streaming. Nobody, nobody comes on at exactly five o'clock. I know. I'm letting every I'm letting everybody in right now, and the live stream's been going on the whole time, which is great. So perfect. Because right. they were they're worried about uh, brown people time, <laughs> tortilla time. Nah. They're worried about all that <laughs> stuff. You know what I mean? So, all right, we're live. We're live, we'll kids. About tortilla and fried chicken time. <laughs> Everyone hear that? Oh my god! Yeah. All right, gents. Uh, this is Billy Harris. We are live in Los Angeles. Welcome to the Red All Star Kitchen Cook Along Series. This is our very first event with our two dear friends, the one and only Ron Sanchez. You like the way I said that? Boom. Very nice. Like Master the way you Chef, roll Judge, are. Host Extraordinaire, and of course my other compadre in life, the one and only Anthony Anderson, the star of Blackish and a million other movies going into season eight, both in the kitchen supporting our first red dinner. We got people on Zoom. We got people on Facebook. We got people on Twitch. I don't know what that is. Instagram Live, YouTube. We're all over the place. This will be recorded and blackmailed with everybody involved. So thank you for being here. <laughs> oh, all right. So uh, did, did, just did, did couple... like ask your wife who bought the jacket. We're just curious. Yeah, the jacket comes from Memphis. So it actually yeah, comes I'll... from Elvis's tailor. That's for sure. Bernie Lansky. So honored <laughs> to be here supporting the Red Campaign. As everyone knows, this is dinner number one. We got three more next week with Pink and Andrew Zimmern. Um, hey, don't get ahead of yourself. 
ahead of yourself. Let this right, one go ahead first. Of Let this one happen first before you say you got three more. Don't all right, all right. There are no more. All this right, is they the, may pull the plug. This is the only one that counts. Exactly. Uh, anyway, we are going to make cocktails, and then Aron and Anthony are going to lead us through a great meal. But to get things started, we want to introduce our good friend Jennifer Latito, the president and chief operating officer of the Red Campaign. Jennifer, welcome to the show. Thanks for being here. Oh my gosh, Billy, thank you so much. I am so happy to be here. Uh, good evening, everybody. I have to say this is the first time I've ever done anything like this after a year and a half in lockdown here in New York City. This is definitely a first, so I'm really, really excited to be here, um, but even more grateful to everybody that's on here along with us. Uh, Billy, Anthony, Aron, Charlotte, Aron. and Paul, <laughs> uh, just wanted to send our big thanks to all of you tonight, and we're really grateful for everything that you're doing to help Red as our um, in our fight against pandemics. For those of you who don't know, this is Red's 15th anniversary. So, I mean, I don't know if we need an excuse for a cocktail, but from my perspective, that feels like a good one. Um, so I'm hoping that everybody's gonna pour themselves a, a, a cocktail um, as we get on with the evening and uh, certainly cheers to, to everything that, that we've been doing, but, but, but specifically uh, in terms of tonight. So I just want to take this opportunity to let everybody know we've got a great new campaign underway. It's called Summer Rediscovered. It's got an amazing lineup like our guys tonight, our guys and gal tonight, uh, stars, chefs, and, and so many other brilliant people that are helping us um, to help save lives over the next month. Uh, it's a really great campaign. Um, it's raising money and awareness uh, for the fight against COVID, something that is um, really important right now. I know many of us, we're in New York. Uh, the city opened up last night, which is amazing. Um, but in other parts of the world, it's not, it's not so, they're not so fortunate. So, you know, we want to make sure that we're getting out there tonight and making sure everybody is getting back uh, and do, we're doing our part to get everybody back to a new normal. Um, for those, some of you probably don't know this, maybe none of you know this, RED has generated over $650 million um, over the past 15 years. Uh, that has all gone, 100% of which has gone to work on the ground and has helped over 220 million people. So, you know, 220 million and counting, including tonight. So speaking of tonight, thank you to um, all of our ticket buyers tonight. Um, your $25 purchase is actually really worth $100 to our fight, thanks to a match from the uh, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. So we're really grateful for that. Um, and I'm obliged to say if any of you want to donate tonight, we've made it really quick and easy. You can go to red.org slash summer, um, and that also will be matched. So we're really grateful for um, everybody being here, as well as anybody who might want to donate. And last but not least, I just want to give a shout out to our friends at Merck who have made this all possible. Um, we're so uh, appreciative of all of their efforts that allow us to get this message out really loud and proud. Um, and, and we just couldn't be more excited about this, the first night of our red all-star kitchen. So I don't know about everybody else, but enough from me. I have already <laughs> started with my margarita, but I'm really excited to hear about another one. Um, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to a great evening. Um, and Billy, I'm gonna turn it over to you. And, and I can't wait to see what everybody's cooking because I can tell you, uh, yours is gonna be a lot better than mine. So <laughs> back to you, Billy. All right, thank you, Jennifer. And thank you once again for everything that Red has done over the amazing 15 years. But before we go crazy in the kitchen, uh, Charlotte Voicy is actually joining us from Brooklyn right now from the William Grant team and their beautiful uh, Milagro tequila. Of course, all their other amazing spirits. But tonight we will focus on Milagro. Hello, Charlotte Voicy in New York City. Hi, Billy. Hi, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Charlotte. Good evening. Um, Buenas noches. Buenas noches, yeah. everyone. It sounds like it's margarita time. So are we ready to make the make the drink? Anthony? Yes. yes. I'm <laughs> ready. Where's my co-pilot at? Okay, good. So we're going to make the freshest margarita to get you guys set up for a wonderful evening. And here's the thing about cocktails, right? You get as good out as you put in. So the rule is good tequila, fresh lime, and the rest is easy, okay? So right. we're gonna start watch her, watch her. good tequila. So tonight we're using Malabra tequila. We've got the select barrel silver, okay? So the first thing we need to do is pour out ahead. ounces of Malabra tequila and put that straight into Two your ounces. cup of Two ounces, all right? That's the big one. 
<laughs> that's the big side. Exactly. Ooh, there you go. Nice. <laughs> okay. okay cool. Straight right. into your cocktail shaker. All right. All right. So far, so good. How are we doing there? So far, so good. I got about that's three ounces in here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So then, Next up, take a lime. Okay. Uh -huh. And a fresh lime, and you're just going to cut that in half. And mm -hmm. pretty much the juice of one lime is around about one ounce. So you're going to cut that in half and any kind of juicer that you have at home. I have one of those. We will not cut it in half. Not half. We will not cut it in half. 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 Wow. She's already beautiful. Yeah, but, uh, right? said that. So then, so, Look at you. Oh, these are the white limes. They, they, they're only going to be half an ounce. Hold on one second. <laughs> All right. Charlotte, it's a tough, yeah. tough yeah. crowd tonight, Charlotte. It's a workout. Okay, juice of one lime in the cocktail shaker. And next up is our sweetener. We're going to use agave nectar for obvious reasons, right? Pairs with the agave forward nature of the Malagro tequila. And we're going to use a three-quarter ounce. So if you've got some kind of little measuring cup, this is perfect just to measure out a three-quarter ounce. This agave nectar is going to provide a little bit of sweetness and just boost the agave. Okay, so we get there. Boom. Boom in the shaker. All righty, next up, fill up the shaker with ice, okay? Just going to put the ice straight into the shaker. Got that already. Right? The top on the yeah, shaker, it up, just like in the movie. <laughs> okay, so you got to shake it for like 20 seconds, so a little bit longer and uh, better than most guys did. And then your cocktail should be ready. <laughs> All right, now this part's important. With your glass, you can use like a rocks glass, an old-fashioned, some kind of tumbler. You want to put fresh ice in your glass first, okay? Nice fresh ice. It's going to hold the temperature of your margarita for longer. So if you do that, and then we're going to strain the margarita straight into the glass, all the way up No, 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 I got this. That way you can use the other one with glass. Oh, I'm sorry, Charlotte, don't watch. Yeah. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you right. go. And then we're gonna garnish the drink with a little bit of lime. So you can cut like a lime wheel and just throw that on top. And then if you like your margaritas with salt, you could have like rimmed the glass first. Or you can, what is he doing? Or you can just I don't add know. a little bit of salt. They're giving the garnish go. right now. Okay. Little garnish on top, a little pinch of sea salt just brings out some of those flavors. Love and the salt, baby. if you, Kept along, you should now have a fresh margarita in your hand to toast to a beautiful evening. So thank you so much for having us. Great night. And uh, back to you, Billy. Thank you, right. Charlotte. I, I think that was only their first margarita just now, but they've been here for a couple hours. So it right. is what it is, I guess. Baby, you All right. Thank you, Charlotte. Thank Charlotte, you, Milagro. Thank you for that wonderful recipe, Charlotte. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, Aron, Anthony, I'm I'm a scared to do this, but I'm turning the kitchen over to you. We got a lot of food to cook. Be careful with worry. the knives up there, for sure. Hey, I want my mom to uh, watch this soon. Where, where can I tell her to watch this? <laughs> There's like 20 people in front of you. They'll they'll give you the link right now. Talk to Sharon. <laughs> yeah, just type it, type, type it in there right there. All right, yeah, Aron. Mama, mama needs Aron. okay. Here we go. All right, guys. So we're gonna go. See, Anthony doesn't know what he's doing. He's just cleaning pans right now. This is awesome. No, I have lime juice in here. Oh, okay, cool. So here's here's the deal, guys. We're gonna take a little trip down in Mexico way. We're gonna do a couple of different things. I think for us, what's important in Mexico is start with a little botana, a little bit of love, something that's easy and citrusy and inviting to the palate. So we're gonna start with a pico de gallo. That's gonna be the base recipe for a bunch of different things we're gonna do a little later on. Okay, so Anthony, what we got we got here uh -huh. is we have a beautiful bowl. That's a beautiful bowl. It's very nice. It's a, it's a Billy Harris bowl. Mm -hmm. We're going to add some chopped tomatoes. Now, here's the deal. You don't want to do something called a gringada, like a gringo move. You don't take out the seeds. You always keep the seeds in there. Yes. And all the beautiful ribs because it has all the, the moisture and all the inherent Wait, flavor. Hold on, hold on. We cooking ribs tonight, too? No, we cooking ribs. I'm talking about the ribs. It, it, oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. There, there you go. Okay. You said, you know, the ribs. Yeah. Okay. I was confused. All right. So what do you think pico de gallo refers to? Um, um, Translated. Uh, the picos of the gallos. Okay, no. So the pico is the actual 
the the beak of the the rooster. So okay. the spice actually hits you like a little bit of the of the rooster's beak. Okay. Oh, I never knew that. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put some onion. Okay. Uh -huh. Now check this out. All you wanna do is get these small little things and check. And this is what's cool. Uh huh. Oh, you gonna look at me while you chop? I tried doing that right there. I almost lost a digit. Yeah. 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 All good, baby. Oh, that's nice. All right. Cool. So what we're going to do right here is put the onion in there. It has okay. to be very finely chopped. Now we have some beautiful jalapeno. Okay, so check jalapeno. this out. Mm -hmm. So what do you? What state of Mexico do you think jalapenos come from? Uh, Jalisco? No, you're close. Tequila comes from Jalisco. I know that much. All right, so cool. Um, there's a beautiful state on the Gulf Coast in Mexico called Veracruz. Veracruz, yes. And this, the capital... Is, is that where Cela Cruz is from? No, you're, you're very close. You're uh -huh. from Cuba, but okay. uh, you're in the same vicinity. Anyway, so, so the capital of Veracruz is Jalapa. Jalapa. With an X. J's oh. and X's. So Jalapeno Jalapa. Right? Jalapeno Jalapa. Okay. So why isn't Jalapeno spelled with an X? Uh, that's, that's interesting because it's actually an indigenous way of spelling it, and that's the more Spanish traditional okay. way of saying it. Okay. So, there's also something else that's very delicious and tasty that's from Veracruz, mm -hmm. and that's Salma Hayek. Oh, yes. 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 Indeed. Yeah. Well, I don't know how tasty she is. No, but she looks like she would be delicious. Yes, yeah, exactly. So yes. what we do, what we have right here is we have the onions, we have the jalapeno. And tomato. But a question, uh, since, you know, I've always been told that the spice or the the, the, the hotness from the jalapeno comes from the seeds. Exactly. Did, but, so did we DC? No, this? we DC, but look, I'm like, I'm on, you see, you're getting ahead of yourself. Oh, I'm, well, I'm, I'm going to flip okay. the script right now. Watch okay. this one. See, I like to just do this little jammy jam right here and just bury that in there, buddy. Oh. And what we're going to do is do a little fusion of flavor. Okay. okay? Fusion so you, of flavor. There you go. Okay. So we have that. And here's the deal. We have cilantro. Beautiful. Wash it. Make sure it's clean. Mm -hmm. Rid of all the little, the little grains. But this is one of the few fresh herbs that you can use the stems. Like parsley, you wouldn't do that no. with. You wouldn't do that with fresh oregano, tarragon, the whole thing, right? Mm -hmm. But with oregano, you can do that. You mean cilantro? I mean, sorry, with cilantro. That's okay. Yeah. I'm here to help you. No, no, no. It's all good, baby. All right. So here we go. So that's going to go in there as well. Okay. Okay. Now, to this, all we simply need is fresh lime juice. So you took the lime squeeze. Oh, all, right. all right. Come on. Yeah. Come on, baby. All right. You have one job for the lines, please. Go for the lines, please. Squeeze, sir. We have the lines. Right. Here we go. All right, here we go. Nice amount of salt. Kosher Hit, salt? Yes, kosher okay. salt. Hit the lines up in there. I'm going to hit the lines with you. Right. Yeah, there you go. Okay, cool. Now we're looking good. Feeling good. Mm -hmm. Looking good. Yeah. Okay. And then what I need you to do after you're done with that. Are we gonna put two limes in or just one? Let's do one more, just for giggles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, like, I like where you're going with this. All right, all right. Orale. No, yeah. All right. Okay, okay. Who knew that lime was a squirter? Exactly. Here we go. All right. <laughs> so then, mix that up, Anthony. We're doing great. Mm -hmm. Very proud of you. Best sous chef, Ed's. Uh, now, now, chef. Uh, we want these flavors to meld together, so it's best if this sits overnight, even though we don't have that time. We do not have that, exactly, uh -huh. Anthony. And what we're gonna do is just let this sit right now, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna move to the guacamole, okay? The, the guacamole? The guacamole, okay. guacamole, okay? okay. So the here's guacamole. the deal. <laughs> the guacamole. Okay, so this is what we have right here. Mm -hmm. What is this called? This is called a morcajete, say it with me. A morcajete. You were close. Okay, but, but in my house, we call that a mortis and pestle. A mortis and pestles, exactly. Yeah, okay. Uh, so here's the deal, all we need to do is start to mess with some avocados. Now, tell me if you think that's right. Yeah, this is right. Yeah, cool. Now, mm -hmm. all right. Now, the deal is when you get avocados and you buy them from the store, I recommend get them green right. and then you ripen them yourself at home. Okay. Do so we put them, to ripen them at home, do we put them in a brown bag or do we just put them in the window? There you go. That's a great question. You can do both. I think the paper bag in the window would probably be the best way of doing it. I actually, there's a company that makes avocado socks. Really? Yeah. What do you so, mean avocado socks? Uh, it's a sock for the avocado to ripen it. So you don't have to get, because a lot of people don't have just like small brown bags hanging around their house. They, they put a sock on it. I mean, you know, some white people, uh, you, 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 just to make milk. But, but, but you're the knucklehead that buys the onion goggles, too. <laughs> you know I didn't buy it. It was given to me. <laughs> <laughs> I have an avocado sack in the house. And then all you right. have in the onion goggles. Uh -huh. look, all right. Here we <laughs> so, look. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to take the butt, the butt end. Kind of switch. Boom. Okay. This one's defective. Yeah, Don't, defective. That, that one doesn't like us. All right. Watch. Here you go. Oh. Yeah. Now. All right. Now, let me, tell you, let me ask you this. Now, if we were only going to use half an avocado, mm -hmm. we want to use the half that does not have the seed in it because the seed would keep this more ripe in the refrigerator when we put it back in. Is that 
Yes, there's a little bit of truth to that. You, to you've that? been reading too much. You can't sleep well. You've been reading all these little funny <laughs> facts. Don't you? Come on, I, I hear you. All, all right. right, so look, we're gonna pull this out. All right, you pull that out. No big deal. No big deal. Okay. okay. And then you. Did we get my mama on the Zoom? Oh yeah. Lord, have mercy. Oh. Get it on. What's the problem? You texted me. <laughs> oh no, 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 no! I just know I wanted. I had it on the. Uh, I had it on the thing that I wanted you to send it to. Okay. I mean, why, why are you getting? Why are you getting mad at him? I'm not getting mad at him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, big oh, girl. you did it already? It yeah. was that quick? Yeah. All right. All right, all right. Is mama in? Yeah, no, we're gonna sign. All right, cool. All right, here's the deal. Uh-huh. What is what is avocados need? They uh, need salt, right? They need salt. Like tomatoes, uh -huh. right? So we're gonna put a good amount of salt in there and we're gonna do a little mashy mash up in there. Okay. And what's gonna happen is here's the thing that I really recommend for everyone doing. You don't want to refrigerate your avocados never. You don't actually refrigerate your tomatoes either. Leave them out. Yes. Because when you have a guacamole that's cold, it kind of gives that impression that it's been done ahead of time. Okay. You don't want to mess with that, right? So you want something that has good texture, that's chunky, and the salt is going to pull all that moisture out. Okay, okay. so you never want to refrigerate avocados. No, oh, never, no. never. I got to go home and take mine out then. Yeah, absolutely. You can help me out here with it. Let me help you out. I'm the sous chef. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, come on. Yeah. All right. Chef. All right. No, but get the big piece over there. I Come got on. The big piece. All, right. All right. You worry about what you worry about. All right. Cool. Here we go. All right. So now what we're going to go ahead and do. Uh huh. Shit. I, I didn't think it was going to be that difficult to do that. It's not. Watch your language. Much... Children might be watching. Sorry about that. Sorry. You know? Uh, here we go. That smells delicious. Yeah, of course, because I made it. No, no, like, we made no, it. No, 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 we made it. You're right. We, we made it. Hey, tell the camera crew to get the wire out of the shot. What is that wire? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they hear you, Billy. Yeah. yeah. All right. No, now, now we have to mix it with a bowl. Mm -hmm. I mean, a bowl with a damn spoon. What am I talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. Maybe, maybe, maybe it might be that drink I made. That's not come up. Keep a, okay. No, nice. No, but nice and easy, Anthony. Okay. Take it easy. Here we go. What do you think we need? A little bit more. A little bit more. Yeah. yeah. And let's give it a little taste. And you tell me what you think. I'll pass the chip, please. Okay, I'll pass the chip. Just give me one second. You're hard to please, bro. Like, come on, man. Yeah. Here we go. Tell me what you By think. By the way, we're filming a pilot for ABC right now. This is the new <laughs> show. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. I've never had more, more better guacamole. <laughs> Welcome. I've no, never no. had more better guacamole. You know what we need to do is wow. sign a flavor disclaimer. Mm. There's too much flavor emanating out of there. Yeah, yeah. Is there? You taste it. Get your chip and tell me what's with it. I don't know if we made it need a touch more mm. salt or a little bit more acid. Well, that was a good line, Anthony. That was a good, that was a good iron chef line. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. I'm gonna come up from Good. the studio in a moment and eat the guac. No, you stay down in the studio. All right. Sorry about you all stay right. there till seven o'clock. All right. Okay. The, thing, the thing goes to six, but we'll be all right. Yeah. All right, here's the deal. Turn that thing on. There we go. All right. Billy, the other one won't come on. Don't break the stove, Anthony. Billy, the other one won't come on. This is how we do it in the black house. We do this in the stove. Exactly. <laughs> No, that's not. Jaron Harris, go fix the stove. No, 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 it's all good. We're all good. We're all good. We just, he just messed with Georgie no, no, Harris, this. everybody. No, this one. My ire was on. That ire is for the back one. Oh, you sure? Act, like, act like you've been in the kitchen before, Chef. Come, come on. <laughs> all right, here we go. You're right. All right. Here Paul, we, go. we have a shot of you now. Awesome. So here's the deal. So we're, so we're rendering some bacon. Absolutely. And why are we rendering bacon? Because now what we're going to make is we're going to make a beautiful dish called hominy a pozole. Uh, hominy and pozole. Hold on. Let me bring it to you. Let me show you what time it is. Check this out. All right. But here's the deal. It's a different kind of pozole. It's not what you think, okay? Because I know in certain neighborhoods. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Exactly. So the, the deal is we're going to let that render down. Okay. Let's get some heat on that. 
And then all I'm simply going to do is cut these little cherry tomatoes. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. And the idea is this is going to be the foundation flavors for this unbelievable. It's a side dish that would be great for like Thanksgiving or for like a proper meal because it's something that you can do with or without bacon, by the way. So, so, in a hominy pasole. Yeah, it's a hominy saute. It's not a necessarily saute. a hominy saute. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out the, the, the right terminology for it because this is sort of a side dish. I'm going to freestyle it right now. Yeah, 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 exactly. Exactly. It's what we want it to be. Exactly. All right. So, Anthony, we're going to uh -huh. let this cook for a little bit. As that browns up and does its thing, yeah. we're going to go ahead and add. We'll let that cook down and render. Uh -huh. We're going to add a little bit of onion. Now, when we're rendering uh, the fat down like this, is, do we need a high heat, medium heat? High, high heat would be ideal. Yeah, high heat high would be heat? ideal. Because okay. ideally, what you're looking for, sorry about that. Mm -hmm. Ideally, what you're looking for here is for it to actually get some crispiness. But what you want most importantly is the fat. The fat. Yeah. Because yeah. that's going to give us all that flavor. And you might be asking yourself, or maybe not, why am I using cherry tomatoes? Well, the cherry tomatoes have a lot more juice. So when they break down, they're going to coat each little kernel of this wonderful hot. Okay. Egg. You know what I'm saying, babe? Okay. All right. I know. I, I live in New Orleans. It's the only place in America that you call a grown man baby. And yeah, it's all good. Hey, baby. Yeah, yeah. Say baby. Yeah, baby. <laughs> exactly. All right. So we have that cooking. I'm going to add... A little bit of garlic. A little bit of garlic. I'm gonna add somebody else's uh All right. this right now. Tell them to watch this. Are you calling mama? Uh, no, another friend? No, another friend. Call a friend. That was fresh garlic you put in there? Yes, sir. All right. We got that. And then now add a little bit of this Mexican oregano. Now this is actually more of a wild margarine, right? Uh -huh. I'm, I'm, is everything okay? Do you have to get with somebody real quick? That's all right. While marjoram, you know, I've always wondered when you buy spice racks and you know, yeah. bulk spices, you, you buy your new house or apartment or whatever, marjoram is always in there. When is a good time, or what is marjoram actually used exactly. for? Exactly, that's a very great question. Actually, it's a great uh, uh, herb for chicken. Okay. For a whole chicken, if you want to rub a chicken with roasted garlic and lemon, it's kind of give it that love and that mm -hmm. flavor. You can definitely do that. This oregano slash marjoram has such a fragrance to it that's beautiful. That's used a lot on top of fresh, uh, like a pozole soup, right? Okay. Because you love pozole, right? I do. Like a red chili broth laden with tons of good slow roasted pork or whatever it is. This is the idea of all those flavors, but in a side dish. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? All right. I see. All right. Cool. So now that we got that, now we're going to add the tomatoes. And what's going to happen with these tomatoes, Anthony, is they're going to release their juices and they're going to break down and almost make a little bit of a broth or a sauce. Okay. okay? So that's what we're going to do really quickly. We should, we should have a sip too. Then. Okay. Now, if, if um, I know you're saying you're using cherry tomatoes mm -hmm. because, you know, of the juice and that, but could they use a regular? Yeah, of course. Regular okay. tomato, just cut into it's a nice big chunks. So you'll be all right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now, now er Erone, I'm going to jump in here because um, we got a lot of people at home cooking right now. So, yeah. friends, I know a lot of you have your cameras off, but I see uh, Big Mac is cooking. I see Cynthia Parr cooking. I see mm -hmm. Brianna Lane is cooking. If you guys have questions for Anthony or Ar Erone, Meredith in Dallas. Hi, Meredith in Dallas. Let's check in with Meredith in Dallas. We're unmuting. Hi. Hi, Meredith in Hello. Dallas. Hello, Meredith in Dallas. Say Hi. hey to Anthony and Aron. Questions for the chefs? Um, I Are saw you, doing you okay? said to use canned hominy as opposed to dry hominy. Was there a reason there? Yeah, yeah. no, we've had, it's actually canned hominy that we just soak. I mean, and with fresh water to get some of that little canned flavor off of it. Yeah, but like cooking hominy start to finish is a whole task. And really laborious and, and and not necessary. Just use the canned stuff. Now I have a question for you. Should we agitate this pan, or do, do we let this sit and, and simmer and all that? I mean, can you play with this too much? I want you to agitate it. All right. All right. Cool. I've never heard a pan called agitate, and that's that's what that he's my boy. All right. Ah! All right. So look, we're cooking down now at this point. The, the bacon is breaking down. It's, it's starting to get a little bit of crispy. We have our garlic, we have our scallion. I just added that as well. 
If your skillet don't look like this at home, throw it in the trash. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say right now. If your thing look like this, throw it in the trash and just sit back and watch us. <laughs> <laughs> Great. That's very encouraging words. You you have chef written all over you, buddy. He Let has chef written all you over him. You can't do this with your skillet. <laughs> don't do it. No, no, nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. All right. So what we're going to simply do now is add our hominy. So this is, again. How many hominies did you put in the skillet just now? <laughs> How many hominies? I can tell you right now about 185. Baby. Okay. All right. So we got some good, some canned hominy. By the way, just to be sure, it's all cooked. It's a canned product that's wonderful, beautiful. We have it in there with our bacon, all our deliciousness. Now what we're going to simply do is add a little bit of butter. And when I mean a little bit of butter, a little bit of butter. You, yeah, you really do live in New Orleans. <laughs> exactly, I do. Or maybe I'll take one out. That might be a little bit excessive. But I'll do that. Come on. Okay, I'll take one more. Okay, I'll put it back oh, in. Yes. Well, well, I know that you on like a health kick now. That's, you know what I mean? You dropped a little right. something. You know what I mean? All right. All right, cool. All right, so we have all of those wonderful flavors. And basically, once that cilantro, I'm sorry, once uh, the butter starts to break down, we're going to add cilantro to that, okay? okay. Here we go. All right. Why, why, is it, why is it important for the butter to break down before you add the cilantro? Because what's going to happen is that will prevent the beautiful, vibrant nature of the cilantro to, okay. to impart its flavor. Okay? okay. So, no big deal. All right. Ladies and gentlemen at home, right now it's time to um, take a sip. Mm -hmm. um, it is definitely, you know. Out, from, from, hold on, Billy. From here on out, every time you hear the word cilantro, it's time to sip. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's, moving forward. There's also Whenever no margaritas in the studio. We we screwed yeah. up on that one. The studio is missing margaritas down here. Well, are you mean the best room that you're in? That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, um, Chef Aron, cilantro. Did you just put in here? Yeah. <laughs> I put yeah. a nice amount of cilantro. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jennifer's drinking on that too. I saw that, Jennifer. Every time they say cilantro. <laughs> All right, now taste it. Tell me what you think. Right. And now you're gonna plate it right here. Really? I gotta get you a proper spoon though. No, that's a tasting spoon. That's not a serving spoon. Oh, okay. Mm. That's banging on top of some banging right there. Right? Hey, Erron, open up that top cabinet and grab a nice white plate instead of that cake plate that you put on the kitchen. <laughs> the cake plate is there for dessert. Well, that's for dessert. You keep your red jacket ass where you are. Let's do what we do. All right. All right I'll, I'll leave the professionals up to you guys. Steph Kelly's laughing here. Missing a little something. This was a grand experiment, Steph Kelly. No, he needs more chili. Mm -hmm. he needs more spice. Uh huh. All right, let's and check in on and take some more salt. There you go. Let's and check also, on Brianna Lane. Brianna Lane, she's cooking. Aron, talk to Brianna Lane. She's coming up right now. Hi, Brianna. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. Visiting with my old pal Anthony. We're having fun. I'm not it certain what like he's it. doing. Yeah. I'm just making a mess. It's not my kitchen. Yeah. I don't have to clean it. <laughs> I'm also not in my kitchen, actually. I'm at my friend's house and I was like, can I use your kitchen to cook? And she's enjoying watching. I'm cooking for her. The Mark. And where where are you, Brianna? Where I'm in San Francisco. All right. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining us tonight. Good luck there. I hope you're drinking. You. I hope you're drinking tequila as well. Yes, I have. No, she's not. Cilantro is in this dish. Yeah, cilantro. <laughs> drink, everybody. I know Jennifer's gonna drink. Exactly. All right. Here we go. So now that we have that, Chef, you're right. We need a little bit more love up in there. Yeah, and now it's right. Look at that. What are you putting on top of there? Cilantro. Mm. <laughs> Oh you heard it. I'm coming up for a margarita. I can't take it anymore down here. All right. So, Chef, that's beautiful, though. Look, Again, I mean, please look at this. If your bowl <laughs> of pasole side dish does not look like this, throw it out the window and drink. <laughs> you can salvage your evening. <laughs> All right. So now we're, now we're going to clean up, Chefy, a little bit, because cleaning up is very important. Uh -huh. A clean kitchen is what? Uh -huh. a, a godly one? No, a, ha a happy kitchen. Oh, okay. Okay, All here right. we go. That's right. 
All right. Well, we don't live here, so we're all good, baby. So, yeah, so, so, yeah, so, obviously. Yeah. Shit, if this was our house, we wouldn't be doing that no, shit. No, we wouldn't be doing uh, it. No, 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 no. We'd rent a house someplace and destroy that picture. Yeah. Like don't burn yeah. your hand, Anthony. Yeah. I'm not. I'm familiar. <laughs> okay, cool. Here we go. Um, Monday morning quarterback from nice. downstairs. <laughs> I, I was going to do that, Chef. That's not your job, Chef. It's my job. Yeah, put it right there. I'll put it right there. All right. Yeah. Look so now we good. I love the service here. No, we're, we're good. We're looking fantastic. You like the service here? Look at this. You're going to have roaches when we leave. Yeah. <laughs> Now here's the, here's the other important part. What we're gonna do, Anthony, is what well, if we want to make dessert and we're gonna use a cutting board? What do we need to do with the cutting board? We need to clean it. No, yes, or use another one, right? So this is our dessert cutting this board. This is our dessert cutting board. All right, cool. So what we're gonna yeah, put, put, hey, Arom, put that plastic cutting board right on the hot burner. Good job, Chef. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Great. <laughs> Dude, you know what? Everyone's a comedian up in here, right, bro? Like exactly. Everyone has like their two cents up in here. All right. Here, give me that real quick. Okay. Yeah, right here. Mm -hmm. cool. There you go. Grab me the bananas, por favor. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here's a. Oh, it, wow. Yep. And what we're going to. Yeah. Yes. As a black man, I can't hand you bananas on camera. <laughs> oh, my God. Jeez. Jennifer's nodding her head. <laughs> okay, cool. All right. All right. Let's open them up. Okay, hey, hey, did you guys know that uh, in the jungle, mm. you oh. pull it from the bottom, and then you stick your hand in here like this, and you do it like that. That's how, that's how the primates eat their bananas. They don't do how we humans do, all right? Okay. Right here? You, no, 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 you don't pull it from the bottom right here. Right. Pull it down, just like that, just like that. See how that came on? And then what the primates do, they stick their finger in here, like that. And then, and then two, and three. You All right. Orale. All right. Orale. Okay. Here we go. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to melt some butter. One. Yes. Okay. So this dish is born, you know, you're a fan of New Orleans. I am. Uh, obviously, I live in New Orleans. That's where I call home. Uh, as Nay! Okay, so I just had to shop somebody out in New Orleans. Sorry, all right. Um, so if you go to the traditional restaurants like Commander's Palace, Commander's Palace. where they're kind of known for their bananas fosso, uh, fosters that's done table side, right? Mm -hmm. And traditionally- Do they like, put cilantro on their banana fosters? You know what? If they did, mm. this would be the perfect time. Yes, it would be. So the idea is a traditional recipe calls for sugar, butter, bananas, brandy of some sort mm -hmm. and you kind of flambe it table side it makes this whole big thing right so me yes. and my infinite wisdom of trying to keep everything latino okay i decided to do it bananas faustos oh bananas faustos instead of fosters you, right. see, you see you see the cuteness, I, in, I, that? I see the cuteness in that okay cool so we're gonna that was a hominy. Dude, really? Hominy in our banana faustos? Dude, we got we got a runaway hominy up in there. All right. So here's the deal. We're gonna let this cook down. And then we're going to add this ingredient, which is one of my favorites. It's tell me, take a taste of that. Tell me what you think it is. Is that caramel? Yeah, dulce de leche. Dulce caramel de leche. is also called, you know, caramel. You actually take, you know, condensed milk. You boil it for three hours. You get dulce de leche. That's what we have here. Okay. Did this come out of a can, or you? This is condensed milk that you let boil for three hours. No, I made this, bro. Come on, man. Okay, bro. What you think that is? All right. Come on, you don't have to. You don't have to blow me up like that. Really? No, no. no I'm just asking. I mean, really? the how many, I mean, many came out of a can? I was just curious. For those at home. <laughs> All right, Ron and Anthony, we are going to check in with Big Mac. That's their Zoom name. I see Big Mac is cooking up a storm. They need to unmute. Let's see where these fine people are before we get in dessert. Hi, guys. Who's Big Mac? Uh, that's the name of our computer. <laughs> good, oh. good, good point. <laughs> good night, everybody. I've been here. I've been here all week. Where are you? Who are you? We're operating on a little Mac right now. Yeah, we're working on a little Mac right now. Where are you folks coming from? And who are you? And where are you? We are in San Diego. All right, San Diego. Oh, and who are you? Uh, we're, you know, 
people. I don't know. <laughs> All right, they're people. All right, they're like, I, we're not saying I, who I we are. Might, I think he might have just been asking, what's your name? Man? Yeah, all I was asking was, what was your name? But I get the... <laughs> well, that's not what you, that's not what you said, really. <laughs> let, me this, let me conduct this interview. Uh, Big Mac owners, how are you? I'm Anthony. What's your name? <laughs> I'm Celia. This is Ross. There you go. Here we go. So, you guys have a question for us? What's going on? How's the cooking? Uh, we're, you know, a little behind because we work till five and so we're scrambling to catch up basically. So, 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 uh, so what, what are some of your questions, honestly, about food? Where, where are you at in the whole process? Uh, we are cooking onions for the hominy and he's making guacamole. Okay, cool. There's nothing wrong with it. So cut the onions again, put in your garlic, your tomatoes, let that cook down, render a little bit of that bacon. If you have, you don't have to put the bacon, that's optional. Then you, you know, put your hominy and saute butter at the end and a nice squeeze of, of lime juice. Okay. But and you topped it with something. And I topped it with cilantro. Of course. Of course. I think you guys need the tequila for sure. Yeah. All right. How, oh, there you go. You got the tequila. How's everything in San Diego? Okay. Oh, there's a sleep, sleeping baby. Oh. And lots of tequila. Let's see the baby. Let's well, thank you baby. for, thank you for being here tonight, Big Mac. We appreciate it. And uh, we're also going to put we're going to put one more link up right now. We don't want to forget it, folks. It doesn't matter if you donate five dollars, five thousand dollars. It's just red dot org backslash summer. It's in the chat right now. So feel free to donate any time. Um, Aron and Anthony, we have time. I just want to check in with some people, see if they have some questions. Sure. I see Paul. Can I ask a question, Billy? Yeah, sure, Jennifer. So Aron, this is my favorite recipe for dessert. Um, oh. But can I tell you how? I, but can I tell you I, how I make it? Because I didn't actually realize I should make it with dulce de leche, which I love. So mm -hmm. my way of making it is: you melt butter in a pan, you put the um, you put the bananas in, and then you cover it with a bit of cinnamon and sugar, which then ca caramelizes, yep. and so it yep. makes the bananas a little bit crisp. Is that really gringo and horrible, or what yeah. do you think? No, no. It, no, it, don't lie to her. Tell her it's really gringo. <laughs> no, it, it is. Me, it has a little. The truth. It has a little bit of that, uh, gringo. This is different, and I'm going to tell you why. Because it has all of those elements already in there. And because the dulce leche is going to caramelize the outside of the banana, so this actually yeah, makes yeah, yeah, it yeah. all simpler for you. You're going to do this actually, this whole process quicker. You know what I mean? Just okay. with the dulce leche, okay? All right. So now that we have this, and they're beautifully coated, it smells great, right? It does. Okay, cool. Now, now here comes the flambe part. Okay, well, if, you know, if Billy paid the, the bill. Billy, did you pay your gas? I paid Here the gas go. bill. We're trying to, to flambe. Okay, we're flambe. All right. Oh, oh man, that's sad stuff right here, buddy. Oh, there we go. There right. we go. So now, yes, the fire. there we go. Now we look too good. So the idea when you flambe, you can see how beautiful all that looks. Hopefully, you guys can see that. It's gorgeous. Mm. Let's grab. Yeah, you know where we're going for, buddy. And then what we're gonna simply do is just make sure that alcohol cooks out, but you don't want to cook it any more of this. Why is that important? Because you're going to let that fat separate. You don't want that. You want a beautiful homogenized sort of little caramel. Look how good that looks. Anthony, come on. Okay, cool. All right. Don't do that. <laughs> cool. All right. I mean, there we go. Perron, somebody wants to know what's the best way to keep cilantro in the fridge so it doesn't wilt away. Do we wrap it in paper towel with a little water? Uh, yeah. Yes, I would get you a paper towel, wet it, squeeze the excess water out, and then wrap the stems of the uh, of the herbs, and then you can put it in the bag. Yeah. You know that there's only there's only two master chefs in America, right? No. It, it's me and Gordon. Okay. Just want to throw that out there. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Oh, no, no. No, you go for it, buddy. It's all but good. But you know, Aron, there is only one yeah, star America, of black <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> go, you can plate it, mm. Master Chef. Ah, that's your beat up. Why are you getting mad? Don't get mad. Uh, I'm not mad, Chef. Oh, baby. Oh, look at that, baby. Look at that. Come so on. Hey, let's get some. And the idea is you let that, you put some beautiful vanilla ice cream on there right now. Anthony, you're going to be doing doubles tomorrow at the gym. I am. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm heading back to the gym tonight. Look at that, buddy. And hold on, let me hit it with a little bit of mint. Just on the a little end. bit of mint? Mm -hmm. It's in the same uh, bucket as the cilantro. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know what time it is. All right. 
and not just a little bit of that little mint on top, buddy. Come on. Look at that. Let's ba, get a ba. close up. Ba, ba. That is what you call deliciousness right up in the nail. If your banana is false, <laughs> it does not look like this at home. <laughs> Banana Faustus. Oh, yeah, Ron, you got a little schmitz on. Yeah, I love it. All right, let's taste it. Let's taste it. Try the banana, not the ice cream. No, no. I, 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 mm. How'd we do? Mm. Baby, baby, you ain't mad at that. You ain't mm. mad at that at all. Not at all. Mm. I'm not saying this because you're my boy. Yeah. I'm not saying this because... I almost helped you. Yeah. And I'm not saying it's because you were a master chef. This shit is delicious. <laughs> There's <laughs> children watching, man. My no. kids are probably watching. They know my language. Dude, come on. Stop playing. Is mint normally on top of this? No, I just I, that's what I'm saying. I've never I've never had that. And and that is really but a you nice see, addition to that. And you know, also you can do you can do this with plantains. You can okay. do it with sweet plantains have a little bit more meatiness, a little bit more love. Uh -huh. That, And you can actually do this with pineapple, believe it or not. Ooh. And just do like a straight up sauteed pineapple flambe like that. Same way. Same yeah. Way I else. Substituting a... uh, the bananas for pineapple. And maybe even mango. You know what I mean? As long as you have like that right kind of technique really quickly. Mm -hmm. What do you think about them apples, my brother? I, I, we didn't use them apples. We used bananas. Yeah. <laughs> But I that's proper. Like this so when the camera sees it, they can get a good angle, sir. Yeah. Look at that. We got a great close up on that yeah, right yeah. now for everybody at home. Mm -mm -mm. I ain't mad at that at all. Don't be mad at that. That's the bananas. Ah. House this. Mm. Lovely. Um, so, yeah, Aron and I'm Anthony, welcome. we're going to take a few questions from people out there tonight for sure. Okay. Mm. Um, let's see if there are kitchen questions here right now. Chefy questions. All right, five ingredients you always have at home. I'm gonna ask both of you. What do you have you to have first. at home? You go, you go first, Anthony. Anthony, I know you're just eating fruits and veggies. Oh, it's just cheese. Yeah, it's all good. Uh, five ingredients that you always should have at home. Oh, I didn't put the cheese. Um, lemon, garlic, onion, uh, and some meats. That's terrible. Is it terrible? No, no. I mean, come well, on. Five ingredients you should always have at home. Chipotle. Chipotle. In a, in a can. Okay. Garlic. Did you say that? I said garlic. Okay, cool. Uh huh. Good olive oil. Oh, oh de definitely good olive oil. Tortillas and cheese. Because that way you can always make a quesadilla. Thank you very much. Always. For shopping. Sanchez. Sanchez. Anderson. That's the Sanchez household. Yeah. Thank All you. All right. Really? Come on, just saying. tortillas and cheese always on hand. Okay, chicken, <laughs> peanut oil. <laughs> uh, Erron, have you done, have you cooked anything with crickets? Have you ever cooked with crickets? And people want to know where do you buy crickets? Yeah, I mean, crickets, yes. And I cricket flour crickets. is a big deal. Yeah, but like, this is what I love to throw on to all the, the vegans. Is it vegan? Vegans. Vegans, vegans. okay. But, it, but I like the way you said, vegans. Vegans. Uh-huh. Uh, and my, my Theo Mario says, hey, bro, back in the barrio, we were vegans because out of necessity, bro, we had beans, <laughs> mm -hmm. frijoles, tortillas, arroz, sopa. Oh, uh, uh, you, you confused me for a second. Aren't frijoles beans? Yes, I am. I just okay. messing with All you. right. All right. Cool. But, you know, so, yeah, there's a way of cooking vegan food. But the idea that crickets are in a lot of those flours mm -hmm. that you use that yeah. are vegan flours, just throwing that out there. But yes, I've cooked with crickets and they are typically put either in a sauce. You can like break them down with roasted onions, tomatoes, and chiles as a sauce, or you can put them on top of a guacamole right now at my restaurant, Johnny Sanchez in New Orleans. You, what's the address, bud? Um, ask me the address. Uh, what is the address? I know it's, I know it's near the dome. Yes. What is the address? I'm happy you asked me that, Anthony. Yeah. It's 930 <laughs> Poydras. Uh, uh, Poydras right is spelled P-O-Y-D-R-A-S. Yes, right off, know. right off of O'Keefe. And yes, uh, uh -huh. we're open for lunch and dinner. And how long have you been open there? Oh, we're open for six years. Thank six you years? Yeah. It's, oh, that's great. Sort of the destination of Mexican food in New Orleans, if you ever mm -hmm. have a chance to go. It, 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 that sounds kind of like... I'm not going to say an oxymoron, mm -hmm. but you know, a destination for Mexican food uh, in New Orleans. It's an oxyaron. Uh, an oxyaron. <laughs> All right, Anthony. Anthony, this question. All right. Yes. Uh huh. No, no. What is it, Billy? 
No, I was going to say people were getting all kinds of questions here. So now we're going to jump into like favorite restaurants. Anthony, besides that, you're a lean, mean machine right now. What are some of your favorite joints in L.A. that you like to go visit? Uh, favorite joints in L.A. Uh, uh, there, there's uh, there's a vegan spot. And you put me right on the spot now and I'm there all I, the time. No, I did. The crossroads. The crossroads. Crossroads is great. Now, now that you're a lean machine, like you were just some sloppy yeah, mess before. Yeah. Yeah, 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 before you were... Before you were just terrible. Now you look, you know. No, I'm I'm always at Crossroads. Uh, that that is my favorite plant based restaurant to go to. Yeah. But um, back to the cricket situation. Back to the crickets. <laughs> uh, I I want you to explain to the people at home that it may sound crazy. Yeah. But crickets are actually a good uh, source of nutrition and, and fiber pro and protein and protein. Yeah. yeah. Fiber. Pro pro fiber too, and as well as protein. Mm -hmm. And it's not what you think they taste like. I, I had crickets yeah. last week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so it's it's actually a very tasty, uh, if you want to call it that, tasty uh, little uh, accompaniment. Uh, and, uh, and and it's good for you. So yeah, don't, I mean, don't think it's crazy. No. And actually in Mexico, they, they use ant larva called escamoles, which is delicious as well. Mm -hmm. And it might sound weird, but it's so creamy and delicious. Like these little bursts of flavor. Yes, crickets. There's uh, maguey worms that you can also work with, which are other uh, sources of uh, insects that are delicious. Yeah. So well, please yeah. be open minded. Yeah. Uh, my yeah. mind, not that open. <laughs> so, Aaron, some Master Chef questions. I know we have some yep. people out here. They, they, when you tell kids to go home and everyone's crying, how hard is that to do? <laughs> well, you know, well, here's as a, as a father of a 10 year old to, to, to see a kid start doing this one, you know how to do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When they start doing that, I start to cry. I'm I'm the biggest wimp. Gordon has, you know, a constitution of ice and, and antifreeze in his veins. But like, I just start crying with the kids, which is not a good look all the time. It's extremely difficult. But you know what? Gordon takes the pressure off because he's always the one that says, you gotta go. You gotta go. Yeah, yeah. Because I would be the one. I can't do that. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Much, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm like a Mexican pudding pop. You right. know what I mean? I right. can't do right. that. You know what I mean? So. What would you call a Mexican pudding pop? Yeah, what do a you paleta. call Mexican pudding pop? A paleta. Oh, paleta. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, has to, has to happen. Gents, let's check in because we have a little more, a couple more minutes here. Let's just check in and see how people are doing. I see uh, Carmenosa. There she is. Let's unmute you. Car am I getting that right? You know, uh, how do I pronounce that? Oh, you know? Yeah, it's actually just Carmen. Uh, my oh. last name is Senyobi. So, oh, hi, guys. Hi, Carmen. Oh, awesome. Hello. Where are you, where are you, you joining us from tonight? Uh, Brooklyn, New York. Brooklyn. Wonderful. How's yeah. the cooking you got a, coming? You got a big kitchen for a Brooklyn kitchen, honey. I know. That, that, that's all. Unusual. That's all the apartment is. It's just the <laughs> yeah, this is the, the whole kitchen. the whole home. Oh, this is Ella. She wants to say hi. How are you? Hey, hey. <laughs> hi. Hey. Hey. Who who is that, dear? This is Ella. Hi, hey, Ella. Hello. Don, Aren't you want to say beautiful, hi? darling? Everybody say hi. How's the cooking coming? Oh. You making everything tonight? Yeah, I'm way behind. Oh, this is Sean. Hi, guys. Hi, Sean. How are you? What up, baby? Um, so what are yeah, you, no, it's so great. What are you I'm, I'm like an hour behind, but, you know, catching up. <laughs> well, have, make, make a margarita. Your night will be good, you know. Yeah, that, that, I, got, that I got caught up You with. got that. Um, You're caught up on that, just like Jennifer. I know Jennifer has been caught up on that all night. Uh, any exactly. questions for the fellas? Are you good? Cooking questions? Acting questions? Anything you yeah, no, chef, I would love to know um, what other ways are there to use hominy? Because it's like one of those oh. things I always see in, in the supermarket, but I never, this is my first time cooking with it. So I'd love oh. to know like any other ideas. Yeah, they're great things you can do with hominy. Uh, you can ground them up and make grits. <laughs> you did say chef, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I, 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 I did it, I did okay. it. But you, you can answer. I'll do the acting question. Okay. So <laughs> look, if you really want to go out there <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you have a sizzle reel. Okay? A and, sizzle reel of you picking yeah, yeah. the best hominy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and make sure you read the script before you go in for the audition. Yeah. yeah. No, no, what, what, no, what, what, no, what, what, what? no, no. But look, here's the deal. I mean, hominy, especially when it's canned, again, but it's most typically used in broths and soup. So oh. high powered, high powered broth, you know, take like pork spine, take like necks. Of these animals. Hold on, hold yeah. on. And Did you just say a, take a pork spine? Yeah, take a pork and spine. A pork neck, <laughs> and a pork neck, roast it, tons of aromatics, ginger, garlic, onion, make a badass broth, reduce that down, throw in some hominy with your favorite vegetables, and you have a wonderful soup. Mm. Could, then, I, could I add a chicherling and a hog maw? You can <laughs> add a hog maw. <laughs> 
sounds uh, amazing. Clips, Thank you. As a guardian. Yes. Good uses Thank of you. hominy. All right, Jane Portnoy. Let's find Jane. Jane has a question. Hi, Jane Portnoy. You got to unmute. Jane, Jane you? unmute. I'm here, Jane. Unmute. You said cilantro. You said cilantro. <laughs> All right. I'll say cilantro, Love and I, my glass is empty because yeah, your I, I glass is empty. Love the hair, Jane. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Hair is fabulous tonight. Yes, Thank you. Very much. Could you bring me my drink bucket and everything? My drink tray. <laughs> well, that's a oh, good lead in because I was going to ask you, yeah. Anthony. I was going to ask you about drinks. Yes. When you're cooking, what are you drinking? Uh, whatever's closest to me and right now, it's tequila. You, but your vodka, the one that you really like, the one that I love. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, I, I drink a lot of Smirnoff uh, vodka. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, thank you very much. Red, white, and berry, uh, all the good stuff. Yeah. Um, what am I missing? Uh, but I drink whatever's close at hand. For me, uh, it's either tequila or vodka. That, that, that is my drink of choice while I'm in the kitchen. But you also like I wine. Have, I have a cooking like question. No wine, mm -hmm. I'll say yes, for you, Anthony, what was the uh -huh. one skill, like since you've been at home cooking a lot because of COVID, that you feel like you honed? Like, what's the, have, did you get better at anything or did you just drink more tequila? Uh, I drank more tequila, and I realized that after drinking as much tequila as I drink, everything got better. Yeah. Your food okay, tastes better. Food tastes better. Your, yeah. your children behave better. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Anthony, you totally dye your beard, don't you? How come you don't have yours like mine, bro? I'm just throwing it out there. <laughs> you do. You do, bro. Oh, uh, no, oh, no. Oh, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Uh, I dye it right here in the corners of my mouth. And I dye it right here. They get real grays right here. Other than that, that's it. All right. Okay. And I have to dye the corners of my mouth because then it looked like I got powdered donuts all, all around my face if I don't <laughs> dye these corners right here. Okay. Uh, all right. We had to get that out in front of everybody. I'm no, sorry. No, I know. I, I, I know. I, no, I, no. I feel like it was like therapy right there. Right all right. Three quarters. Uh, all right. Do we have right. Anthony's making more uh, great Milagro <laughs> tequila margaritas. Do we have a few more cooking questions here? I see ya Yahira. Am I pronouncing that right? Let's go to Yahira. Let's see where she's got no, a yeah, chef's apron no, on. Yahira. Yahira. Yahira, Billy. Just come on, buddy. <laughs> when you have a, a question with that, you ask me for all everything Spanish related and Latino. Okay. Thank you very much, Billy. <laughs> if you have yeah, anything Yiddish, if anything Yiddish, I'll hit you up. You'll hit yeah. me up. Yeah. All right. Yahira, where are you joining us from tonight? I'm in Florida, Beautiful Beach, Florida. You're in Florida? Yes. Wonderful. You got a chef's apron on. You have some questions for chef, or you want acting lessons from Anthony? <laughs> I might take those acting lessons. Mm -hmm. So what do you have a question for, darling? You have a question? Please. How's cooking coming along? Um, I actually prepped ahead of time, so my stuff is done. Look at that. Boom. Looks fantastic. Look at that. Look at that. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't do dessert. I didn't have time to shop for the dessert. All right. Well, yeah. good. Yahida, me and Anthony live by one simple rule. No parking on the dance floor. No parking, baby. <laughs> no parking on the no dance, dance floor. Good job. Good job. I have a question for you. How much cilantro did you put in your posada? Posada. Oh my. God. Yeah, that's the pea dish. I like cilantro, so I used a lot. Oh, she used a lot of cilantro. Yeah. Do we? Uh, any last? Thank you, Yahaira. I'm pronouncing that correctly now. Thank yes. you for joining us. But she actually likes it when you call her Your Highness. Yeah. Okay. I know. Exactly, Your Highness. Well done, brother. Well done. Any Your other? <laughs> Any other final questions here tonight? Uh, any, uh, Geraldine. Jennifer, how are we doing? Do you, think, do you still think you're going to do these next Hi. Week? <laughs> we didn't learn it for you. Did you yes, what, yes, we I will. Yes, we what, do. Yes, hang, we on will. One, hang, hang on what? one second, Jennifer. What? Anthony and Aron, Geraldine has a question. Let's bring Geraldine up. And Geraldine. Geraldine. Geraldine happens to be my mother-in-law. Geraldine. Hi. Um, what did you do with a queso fresco? Okay. What did Here's you the deal. Do with a queso fresco? I'm sorry. I bought this whole nice cheese. No, I know. Here's, I here's the. Do you Ms. use Geraldine, it? 
Yes, we yeah. got off the track, and you're absolutely right. This is where the Queso Fresco should be, yeah. and you're absolutely right. You knew Jodine is related to Billy. Yeah, that's exactly. my mother-in-law, so that she doesn't miss anything. Miss <laughs> Geraldine, I'm sorry. I, we love your family, by the way, and you're absolutely right. And, and the radish, the radish was a garnish for the uh, for the guacamole as well. But they should have gotten the queso fresco. I'm and, sorry. Uh, and, and, excuse me, Miss Geraldine. I don't know if you noticed, but I did pull up the queso fresco and say, "Hey, chef, what's up with this?" And he snatched it from me. Yeah, I saw. Right I actually his... saw that. I did. Yeah, it's on camera. It's on camera. All right, yeah, I'm a good chef. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you're right. All right. Thank you, Geraldine. Thank you, Dindy. We're going to go to Ed Pasquale. Where's Ed Pasquale? Go, Ed. <laughs> hey, he Anthony, always wants what's your uh, favorite go-to dish after spending all day and night in the studio shooting an episode? Uh, my favorite go-to dish? Well, it's no longer my go-to dish, but a nice bone-in ribeye and some Ooh. tarragon <laughs> fingerling potatoes. Yeah. And some jalapeno uh, cheddar bacon cornbread. Who said, who well, says that. tarragon in front of potatoes, bro? Tarragon is I like, said tarragon fingerling. Potatoes. I know, but dude, it's like tarragon is just a thing you don't mention. It's in there. It's not like this luxurious thing, bro. You just don't throw tarragon. You say caviar. You say truffle potatoes. You don't say tarragon, bro. No, you bro. do. No. You do. No, you don't. <laughs> because what's the, if you know. eat it and it's flavored with something, you're like, what is this? Why didn't you tell me this was in here? I'll be like, it's tarragon. You say you should have told me it was tarragon I know, potatoes. But you're like digging it up like it's something luxurious. It's tarragon. No, it really bro. is, though. Okay, bro. You 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 baked up the margarine. Yes, I did. Oh, why? Because it's Mexican. Uh, <laughs> well Mexican done. Yeah. All right, so Anthony, oh. what is... Uh, uh, you, you said oregano, not... Yeah, uh, yeah. I yeah. said it tastes cilantro. Cilantro. It's more like a You didn't beer. say cilantro. I just did twice. Exactly. Do what you got to do. All right. Well, I need to get out of the studio and come drink some Milagro. That's for sure. Anthony, eight yes. years of Blackish is coming to an end. It, you're about to film the final season. What's next for you after this, for this groundbreaking show, this fabulous show? Um, I haven't really thought about <laughs> what's next yet. You're just focusing on, you know, closing out our eighth year of Blackish yeah. and making sure that we close that out in the proper way. You know, of, of my entire career, I've never been a part of a show where I could walk in and close it out. It's always been, oh, you guys are canceled. Oh, this is your last episode. So this is the first opportunity that I've had in a 25 year career where, you know, we actually can go out on our own accord uh, and, and, and sell off the way that we want to sell off. So I'm, I'm really focused on that. Uh, and, and then we'll, we'll figure that out at the end of this season, what, what's going to happen next. All right. Here's to amazing eight seasons. That's for sure. Okay. Um, any Jeez, final cilantro. questions? Cilantro for sure. Well, I'm going to come up for, uh, I'm going to come up for a margarita. That's for sure. Uh, this is the first of our red all-star kitchen. And now I could say, yes, our next one is Monday night with pink and Andrew Zimmern. Uh, you guys are going to wish you were here again. Once you get there Monday, exactly. I wish you were right here again. Right here. Jennifer, any closing remarks uh, for our first oh my uh, night? Gosh. I just want to say I, I wish that we did this in person because I want to eat all of that food that you made. So that's like, uh, I don't know why I didn't think about that ahead of time, but you guys are incredible. Um, Charlotte, thank you so much uh, for, for sharing your cocktail recipes with Get us. Get your phone, and Charlotte! I'm ready for some cilantro. We're all ready for some cilantro. All right. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Anthony Anderson, Ron Sanchez, Charlotte Voicy, the whole red team. We'll see everybody next week. Keep cooking. We will have a some of you asked if we will have a recording. We will have a recording um, to uh, to follow up this mayhem. That's for sure. Stephen Gold, Thank your you, hair is really. really long. That's for sure. Thank you, everyone, for joining all us all done, over guys. the country on Zoom, on Facebook. Thank you, Charlotte. Thank, Thank, you, you, Charlotte. Thank you, everyone. Thank, Thank you, you Ray. Bye, everyone. Thank you, Charlotte. Gracias. See everybody next week. Bye. Thanks, everybody. I think I'm loaded. You are loaded. I'm coming up. I'm coming up for a margarita. You think? Thank you, Charlotte. I think I'm loaded. Yeah. yeah. Margaritas are delicious. You're welcome. Great job, I'm ready you guys. For a whole glass again. <laughs> All right, Geraldine. I ain't mad at you, girl. Take it to the next. Cilantro, 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 cilantro. She's all worried. Cilantro, cilantro. I bought this. I bought this big ass box of cheese. You ain't using one.
Exactly. They're making strong best. drinks oh, up there, Charlotte. <laughs> no, no, we good. We're All right, good. good night, everybody. Good night, everyone. Thanks for donating. Thank you Thank so much. Ray. Thank you. This is awesome. Muchísimas gracias. Okay.